All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So are you looking at that title? Are you seeing who is joining me for today for TAG? Yes, it is Tiago. It has been a cool minute since we have seen this man Tiago around. Uh, I believe his computer broke early February. Yeah, early February. He, he messaged me on Skype and he's like, yeah, computer is broke. Won't be able to be on for a while. I was thinking like maybe a couple weeks, maybe a month. Nah, it's been like a couple of months. It's been, it's been a few but you know how diligent this man is. You know how diligent this man is. As soon as the guy's computer fix, came back, went to the channel, he missed 191 videos. Like, I, I know I'd be pumping them out. 191 videos. Hit the like button on all of them. Like, that's crazy. Like, hello? <laughs> so thank you, Tiago. I am glad that you're back. Um, if you're wondering, you know, oh, uh, how's it going with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Draft League? It should be during the summer. You know, summer, generally people are off or more free. And uh, we should be starting season two then. So we got a couple more playing to do and all that. But uh, yeah, of course, you guys know that Tiago is definitely invited to season two. Like, there is no doubt about it. And uh, we're preparing the tier one decks, the tier two decks. And let me guess, let me guess, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess. For tier three, I'm assuming that Tiago's probably gonna go with the freaking galaxy, the galaxy photon, right? I mean, more power to you, you know, if Tiago can go ahead and scoop up some uh, points by busting out the power of the Galaxy Photon. And, you know, uh, I believe, and I believe that even Tiago changed his Skype uh, picture to that Galaxy uh, Cypher Dragon. I bet Tiago, as soon as he saw that uh, that kite, he was like, oh, yes, more cards. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, seeing that first turn Felgran. Yep, that powerful first turn Felgran. Ah, it's Tiago. <laughs> it's the return of Tiago, people. <laughs> Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to do anything with the Galaxy Soldier, like Instafusion and uh, go into like a Pleiades or, uh, or I guess he could go into Infinity, but I know Tiago was like, oh, I don't like going to Infinity, it's too easy, like, first turn bust out a, a Galaxy Soldier in Infinity, it's just, mmm, <laughs> ooh, damage condenser, okay, the damage condenser pits that UA penalty box and summon himself a uh, UA monster, so it's UAs, okay, I guess I see you, I guess I see you, <laughs> Okay, so and then go ahead and summon uh, Rebounder, and Rebounder will go ahead and summon you that perfect ass, so not bad, not bad. This card is special summon during your opponent's turn, you special summon one UA monster from your hand. Okay, now he's got the perfect ass, he only has got one card to pitch, so that's not the, you know, the greatest of things to have in your hand. And then Penalty Box, I mean, that got so good, and you can bench this card to like add a... Add a UA spell or trap or something like that, I think is what you can do. That's the card you to add a UA spell from your deck to your hand. So, gonna get your filled spell too? Like, okay, I see you. Damage condenser with the UA is a little slow, but, I mean, with Rhoda at one, I mean, that, that's, that was not a terrible play, sir. I would give you that. Alright, gonna go ahead and add, set Foolish that Ancient White Stone, summon, uh, the White Stone of Ancients. Uh, change it to that TCG name since it's out here in the TCG. Ah, uh, and you're actually gonna pitch your last card stop that i guess that back row is really important because now you are completely out of resources man and it's going to come around for well i guess he can use his partner can use the perfect cast during my turn to negate anything that i do so that's pretty power too oh no 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 felgram felgram negate he's like no no so not only you'll take the neg but i'm going to negate your effect and i'm going to summon that uh i'm assuming kai right all right yeah dragon spirit of white Okay, I thought it was like White Kai or something for TC. Nope, it's Dragon Spirit of White. Banish on Mirror Force. Damn, so his partner's pretty much out of resources. And that, that's pretty power. That's pretty power. So, uh, it's pretty much just us two versus this guy right here. The only thing that sucks is that that perfect ass is on the field. So, that perfect ass can negate anything that I do. We're playing them Dragoonity, so, you know, I'm not sure how much he's gonna allow me to get away with. Oh, okay. So you're gonna go ahead and play cute little Kaiser and make it so everybody has to attack? Like, is that really what you wanna do? Like, you're gonna make it so perfect ass and our rebounder has to attack. I mean, attacking over the Galaxy Soldier, sure, but, you know, this perfect ass, I think he'd much rather stay in defense mode. Like, he doesn't wanna get it up to, he doesn't want none of this action over here, not on this side. <laughs> ah, okay. So it's a Dark Magician deck. Go ahead and summon that rod, get that, uh, uh, that, uh, Dark Magic Circle and. We know how to handle this deck. Like, this deck is fairly easy to beat. Like, I I personally don't... Well, we already seen it from the, uh, the OCG, but even the TCG, I don't think Dark Magician is going to be some top-tier shit because it's just, it's just too easy to handle. Like, hit the circle, hit the Eternal Soul. 
done. Like, it's, it's really that easy. Like, who cares about Navigatum? Don't care if you're summoning these normal Dark Magician ones. I don't care. I'll run them over. I, I can handle them. But as long as I get rid of that circle so you're not, pop, you know, banishing my shit. Wow, and he's going to negate the rod. All right. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good choice. That's a pretty good choice. So he doesn't go ahead and just, you know, get that circle and all that. So, all right. There goes those two attachments on Felgrim, and well used, I must say. I must say, you know. Uh, it's just easy to stop. It's just easy to stop. Set your your Savage Coliseum. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Savage Coliseum. And go down defensive. So, like I said, I still got to be careful. A perfect ass can still uh, fuck me up, and I'm not about that life. I do not want to get fucking it up. Uh, this hand's not bad. I got that stupid pot of cupidity, so I can go ahead and do some shenanigans with that. But I think for now, I'll just go ahead and... Uh, I could bust out Crystal Mass, it's just that perfect ass can negate me, and I really don't want that. Like, I think I might just go ahead and attack, and then just do everything in main phase, too. You know? Attack, get rid of that perfect ass, get rid of pretty much everything, and then attack in main phase, too, I think would be best. Uh, what's going on in the graveyard? Oh, the Ancient White Stone. Like, yeah, I totally want Blue Eyes back in my hand right now. No, I'm just gonna attack, so... Uh, you... I was to say, like, what about Felgram? Oh, you're gonna activate some trap? You're gonna activate this? You get you, you get you, and you get you, and then main phase two. I'll just do my Dragon Knee plays with Perfect Ass not on the field and bust out that Crystal Meth. That Methamphetamine. For Geki Break. Oh, and he's playing you Bell too? Like, okay. Uh, he's gonna pop the Felgram. Yeah, he's gonna use the trap. I'm assuming he said use the trap on the fell ground. That sucks, because I really wanted to kill this perfect ass. That's all I really wanted. I don't care about their other two monsters. I really care about getting rid of this perfect ass, though. It's like, you attack you, you attack you, and you attack you, and I'd handle all the monsters. Nope. I'm gonna just Mugeki pop the fell ground. That sucks, so now I still gotta deal with perfect ass. Great. And I don't think that he's gonna allow me to get away with shit. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. That's gone. That's done, so... The question is, how much can I get away with? Ah, that sucks. <laughs> Fucking Rigiki Brick on the Felgrim, just keep the perfect ass alive. Like, this, I wanted to get rid of this perfect ass. Alright, go ahead and activate my Terraform. At least I'll just try to play or play as much as I can. I mean, if need be, I can do Pot of Cupidity, and I could possibly draw on shit. We're still testing it. You know, OCG, they're playing the Pot of Cupidity. So we'll try it. We, just, we don't have as much filler shit, you know? At least I got one of my Dragon Ravines. We, we don't have the filler shit like, uh, like OCG has. Alright, that's what I thought. Yep. Don't need Dragon Shrine right now. Like, I got all my Dragons right now. So really, I just need, I either need A, another, uh, Dragon Ravine, or... A terraforming and hopefully don't banish that last dragon being or duck so fuck it I'll try it I did not get any of that banish my last dragon ravine banish the terraforming like that's not good you know what since Tiago is okay and I'm okay for right now I think I'll just go ahead and uh, hit him with the regeki like I kind of want that perfect ass off the field so I drew two drew into a soul charge and a uh, freaking uh, Power, the, good, the other guy's not drawing into anything, so I'm gonna go ahead. No, I think I'll hold on to this because I might be able to use this. I can send, I can send ducks. I'm trying to think, I can send ducks. Then I can soul charge ducks. But I have the phalanx in my hand. I, I can't have the phalanx in my hand. I can't fucking give them the dragoon spear. I do not have the ducks. I could use the soul charge, or I could give it to Tiago. Hmm. I think I'm okay right now. I think I think giving Tiago resources is better for right now. Do I even have any Sync Sevens in here? I don't think so. I mean, should I? Oh right, I forgot about the penalty box. So gonna go ahead and get your signing deal. Play your signing deal. What summon midfielder? And then whatever you drew into, or you're just gonna. Its effects are negated, right? 
He's just gonna summon Goalkeeper with the big old booty. I, I guess. I mean, I'm assuming Tiago can get over that. So. You wanna use the Soul Charge, Tiago? More part two if you don't need it. It's fine too. Cause I don't think I can activate the Troll Charge because I did conduct my battle phase. Yeah. You can activate the Referee's Attorney activate this card, and I did. So I can't loophole it and play it in main phase too. I did conduct my battle phase. So, I'm gonna go ahead and special summon that alternate, which we don't have in the TCG. But, and they scoop! Awesome, awesome. I pretty much did nothing because I got a shit negated by freaking. Uh, shit, I could have made a methamphetamine, but I got negated. Alright, let's get another duel. We are back. Alright, back for another game. Like, damn. That, 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 uh. The perfect ass. He just, he just fucked me up. That ass. It was just too good. <laughs> uh, this hands. Okay. I mean, I got. I got the Legionnaire and the and the Ackley, so I can go ahead and pop a couple cards. I just kind of feel that uh, Julian's just a little bit too inconsistent. Like they got like, they got like, like what, eight good monsters? Well, not eight, like eight, like eight monsters that you actually play. You play, you play your Ducks. You play your Phalanx. Sometimes you play your Legionnaire and your Ack, your Ackleys. And what, Legionnaire? Like, there's not a lot of good Dragoonity monsters. That's why I'm having a problem with the consistency of this deck, you know? I can't even play filler shit like Upstart and Chicken Game and all that. Uh, it doesn't look like Tiago opened up too well. At least if this Whitestone gets, this Ancient Whitestone gets killed, then we'll be able to summon something, but. So I definitely, hopefully, I can. Oh, yeah, I can take care of the Swanee. It depends on the back row. Well, I got Tim Twister. That double popping will be pretty good. Oh, ooh. Go ahead and play a tuning, so Synchron. Synchron's in Yang Zing's, all the Synchro decks. <laughs> and I guess I Synchro too. <laughs> I mean, if I can go into that Methamphetamine. Yep. Yep. Explorer's the one that summons back from the graveyard. Yeah, so that wasn't the greatest of mills. Jet Synchron, Synchro summon two Armadies. Uh, yep, looks like it. Oh, no, Jet Warrior. Alright. I definitely thought our mates. But let's go ahead and bounce. Bounce and get a search. Alright. I see you. I see you. Got some back row? Well, synchro decks don't generally play much back row. From what I know. I I, I don't really play synchron. I definitely know that, but from what I know, they don't set much back row. But maybe they, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this guy's gonna be like hella back row. Nope, see? Told you. Not much back row. Alright, well, that's the best thing I can do. Uh, do I equip from the hand or the I'm just going to use some of your graveyard equip it to this. Nope, has to be my graveyard. That sucks. That sucks. Now oh, I wish he set some back there so I can use my Twin Twister as an enabler. Uh, that's not good. Oh no, because when this card jumps on I can summon a Dragon and the from my hand. So, I can do that. So, I'm go ahead and tag you out for you. Equip it to you. You and pop you. Oh, and then I have to pop. Yep, that was mandatory. I keep on forgetting that this is mandatory. Yeah, and this card is in the is clip. I had to target a card and pop it, so I had to pop myself. I had to pop myself. Uh, this. I'll set all my. I set my whole hand. I didn't open up too well. I got my two some strikes, so hopefully I can hold this guy off. But you know, no my luck, he'll probably end up twin twistering my shit again. Maybe get Tiago everything. Back up Tiago with the Solemn Strikes and the Soul Charge and the Twin Switcher. So hopefully Tiago has to play because I did not open up well at all. Like no Dragon Ravine, no Terraforming, no nothing. Like all right, is there anything in there? Oh, Swanee. I'm probably gonna strike that. Like I don't want you to go into Vexia at all. Nah. I'd rather just strike the Masculine. Go ahead, set some back row so Tiago can be like Twin Twister, takes that Ancient White Stone. Wow, really? Really? I mean, okay. I guess. I wouldn't have done that. So I'm assuming that he probably has his, uh, his trap card. Oh. Alright, and then summon Jet back. Like, dude, like you. Really? Uh, I don't like that play. I, I didn't like none of that. Okay, I guess we got a Jet Warrior, I guess. Still no back row. 
Like I said, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm waiting for the Yang Zing guy. Like, I know at least you're playing uh, Creation, right? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? Like, seriously. Like, you just used this shit. Like, you have 16,000 motherfucking life points. Take some damage in the chin, nigga. But don't fucking burn his plays. Like, wow. Mmm. Oh, Tiago can't use that Twin Twisters. I have no cards in my hand. Damn, Tiago. Damn, Tiago. Back at it again with the shitty ass hands. <laughs> Good to have you back. <laughs> Oh, I mean, if need be. I mean, pitching this during the end phase, you know. It wasn't sent. I mean, I don't know. I guess you kind of miss, miss with this. But, uh, if need be, you can use that Twin Twister if he sets anything and then send another Ancient Stone if you have one. But, damn, he's got double tuning and shit. I, I can't get my Terran forming. I can't. Like, there's no filler shit in Dragoonies. Like, Dragoonies really got hit pet for this task list. I wanted to test that. Who let me still send it back or not? No, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, like, no chicken games, so the terraformings, like, I'm running three terraformings for only two dragon green, but you know how important dragon green is. Uh, no upstarts, none of that filler shit, you know? Like, the best I can do is pot of cupidity, and even that's really risky, and I would love to, you know, try the OCG 45 card deck out, but we just don't have that filler shit. You know, see, they're, like, they're like triple upstart, triple chicken game, you know? Then triple pot of cupidity, because if they... And run a 45 card deck because they can still just be like, all right, activate Potty Cupid, you know a whole bunch of chicken games up there, where those are even out anyway. But nope, over here in the TCG, we don't have that, so it's struggling. Like, I thought, when I first saw Dragoonies, I was like, oh yeah, buddy, I'm about to, you know, I'm about to hit my opponent with the goodness. I'm about to freaking go ham on their ass and, uh, and, uh, you know, bust out that Crystal Meth. Now I'm kind of just sitting here like, I can't do Crystal Meth. <laughs> so. That's kind of sucking that time. Uh, this guy over here, the Synchron guy, I mean, he opened up really well. Like, he, he, he got double tuning and he's just doing his plays. Like, like he might be able to go into freaking uh, Quasar right now, can he? Uh, I'm not seeing it. There's another level 5 Synchro. He's got the Jet Warrior, so he just needs, like, Formula Synchron and he can do it. Right. From what I'm seeing right now, I don't see it. Yep, broke ass TG Hyper Librarian, people. Uh, draw a nice chunk of cards every time you sink or summon. Does he have level eater in the graveyard? If he had level eater in the graveyard, he might be able to do it. Cause this is about to be like what? Jet Warrior? No, Junk Destroyer. Alright, so let me take cards up to the number of non tuner monsters used to Sucro Zero for this card, so uh, was that one? Yeah, one. <laughs> So, just gonna go ahead and solve him strike him. He still got these two. And over oh, that five minutes in the ass and he's able to pull off a freaking uh doesn't look like it, but say pull off a quasar. Uh the best card I can draw right now is Regeki. Like, what's in the graveyard? Like, you're one, two, three, four, five. I don't think I have any sync sixes. So even if I soul charged everybody and synced with freaking uh, the ancient white stone, I don't think I have any sixes. That sucks, so. And of course, no back row, so our twin twister is still freaking useless. And I got ducks. So, this card is no summoning you. You can select one level 3 or lower. Dragoon, do you want to a graveyard? Equip it as this card. So I could quit, but I don't think I can unequip. I think I can only just equip. I'll go up to 17, so that's nice. Like, I have like no plays. Alright, let me see. I might. I might. I can use Soul Charge, Ducks, Legionnaire, and Ancient White Stone to go into Scar right and then wipe his ass. Like that that's like the best thing I can do right now. What's the other guy using? The other guy's using Yang Zings, right? And he probably and he has resources out the ass. So for me to do but if I don't do this play we're gonna lose, so Ah. Uh. I summon Legionnaire. Alright, summon Legionnaire. Summon Ancient White Stone. Let me use that. Then I can activate Legionnaire. Unequip. I mean, equip. No, it's only when he's normal summon. It's only when he's normal summon. So that's, that sucks. So even if I summon you. Oh, you're a tuner too. So, I'll just summon everyone back, actually. I would rather take the thousand than get hit directly for next turn. Because I have a feeling that. Next turn, we're probably going to be taking an ass beating. So, 
I do, do I have a five? Yeah. I have a maybe. And Catastrophe. Okay. I think still Scar Right might be best, but if I do Scar Right, I'm gonna wipe my own shit, so. So. I go into Hot Red. In phase, you can destroy all face attacks, which is not as much as can attack turn, but I can't attack anyway. I think Hot Red might be better. I mean, Hot Red than Scar Right, because I don't want to wipe my own shit. You, you, you. This is the best as I got right now. Oh, and you get to draw a card. Fuck! I forgot about fucking Hyper Librarian. Drawn off of me. I'd be mean, great right now if I had like a fucking Sync 10 with these two, but I don't. This man has four cards, like. Like, I, I used up every single resource I had. <laughs> Rick and Tiago sitting over there with just a, a booty ass hand, like, alright. <laughs> hey, I don't know what happened there, okay? What? Yang Zing got? You got nothing? Nothing? Shit. Alright, it looks like Tiago got that trade in, and hopefully we're in this duel. Like, you need Knight or Galaxy Soldier, another trade in. Like, pitch another Galaxy Soldier. Like, damn, like, alright. Alright, Tiago's in the duel, people! Tiago is in this duel, thank fucking Jesus Christ! Like, ugh, I held, I held off as long as I could. And God, I decided to actually do that Soul Charge play. Because if we would, I'm not sure if we would have survived. <laughs> Damn, Tiago, back at it again with the triple trading. Damn, and they scoop! Like, dude! You had 16,000 life points, you are 29, and you could scoop. Damn. Alright, just because of this special occasion, because Tiago's here, we'll get one more in. Bear back. All right, people, back at it again. <coughs> back at it again with another duel. Uh, this hand's okay. If I if I have something to pitch failing, that's what I need. Wow, wow, hero lives to drop Denklaw. Eight thousand life points. Oh no, I mean, Denklaw fucking sucks to go against. It fucking does. And I, you know, it really sucks is that's that first turn Denklaw. Bubbly man. Tag him out for, I'm assuming, I'll like, tag him out for the fucking uh, Silent Swordsman. Yep, so, that sucks. That sucks, that sucks, and a whole bunch of back row too, oh no. <laughs> wow. Wow. Silent Swordsman. And he can like, during the post turn when his spell is activate, he can just negate it too, like damn. And of course my banish 10, that's a cost for Potted, Potted, uh, Cupidity, so I can just be like, activate it, banish 10, and he can be like, Negate? That's a fucking pot of greed. Negate. And then I'll take an egg and then top cards my ten cards in my deck. So just fuck me in the ass. Like, mmm. Like <laughs> wow, this guy just just this guy alone might be able to handle us, because wow, he opened up really well. Really well. And it doesn't look like or, or if Tiago did open up well, you can't really do much. Like he relies a lot on the graveyard, so. Yep, go ahead and nice change into Dankwell. Ah, oh, Danklaw. I hate him so much. <laughs> God, I hate Danklaw. Like, I, I, I wish heroes were hit, as hit in the OCG as in the TCG. Like, I don't even give a shit about Stratos. No one gives a fuck about Stratos. But at least in fucking, at least in the fucking uh, OCG, they have chat what? They have Shadow Mist at one and Mass Change Second at one. Like, good because these cards are fucking dirty. <laughs> so. Hopefully I draw into like a Regeki or something. If not, then just fuck us. Oh, it's the Synchro guy again. Like, wow. Fucking Denklaw. Fucks both of us, really. Fucks both of us. We really need that graveyard. And he's just like, nah, fuck you. You don't get no graveyard. Like, alright. This kind of graveyard's not bad either. You can just call it Target Synchro Monster Graveyard, add it back to your hand. You can just summon that if he wants to use the Silent Swordsman. It's like, hey, oh, he's got that one for one too? Damn, how do these fools be opened up so well? Me and Tiago sitting over here like, eh, I haven't really got much. <laughs> I need to draw the Regeki. Straight up, I need Regeki. And he got the back row too. Like, I, I, I don't think we can win this. I don't think we can win this. Dankoff fucks us so hard. <coughs> uh, yep, sync these two into formula, draw a card, and get a search, and you can get it back with fucking rush. Like, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> why Denklaw? I hate Denklaw so much. Like, I, I seriously I seriously say right now that Denklaw is like my top 10 most hated fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we, we are pretty much fucked. 
Yep. There's just something quick draw and continue your plays. Got level eater in the grave too. Like, yep. So I think five. There's hyper librarian. He already used uh, uh, jet. If he didn't use jet, he could hit us with a quasar right now. They already used jet to get the search. If he didn't use jet, he could just summon it right back, and then this would be another five. Yep. Yeah, we used jet. That'd be another five. That should have been a librarian. Then you could have just jet warrior or whatever. Bust that out. Well, I guess no, because quick draw has to be in the uh, warrior, uh, warrior synchron. All right, something that lets us synchron. I don't think you have to do it and list that. Yep. And clearing. Like, all right. Yep. Fucking Denkwa. God, I hate Denklaw. <laughs> top, I think that top 10 most hated cards in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Denklaw. He's definitely on there. <laughs> Remember I'm saying Friedman nigga Stratus, you don't even need him. Just put out Denklaw. Like, what does Stratus have to do with Denklaw? Absolutely nothing. Like, got Silent Sides and negate our spells. Crystal Meth to fucking negate anything I do. And then Dark Law just to banish and lock us down. Like, plus back row. Like, plus back row. You want to negate that? Use both. Like, you could just negate that. But I guess it's true. Silent Sword. Alright. 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 So this guy, he really just opened up the tits. Like, damn. Yep. Yep. Negate, and then we quit. <laughs> Definitely negate that. Like, it's a fucking pot of greed. Let me just go ahead and humor what I banished. Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. I banished the Pali Cupidity, Shrine, and Kragaki that I needed. Ravine, Duck, Solnos. Like, yeah, let's go ahead and scoop it up. Like, let's go ahead and scoop it up. Yeah, just scoop. Yep, surrender. <laughs> surrender. <laughs> yep, yep. I opened up the tits. <laughs> Alright people, I'm gonna go ahead and call it episode, so, damn, let's see what happens when you just open up just the, mmm, titties, like, nice chain second, the silent swordsman, and two swords to make your shit like a 5,000 fucking beat on a gay spells, like, just, just wow, silent swordsman, like, that, that seems like it'll be fun to play on Daily Duel, I might actually put that up on the polls, if it didn't get suggested already, I think the polls should be up soon, yeah, or it should be up, should be up, so, uh, yeah, be sure to go ahead and head over to, uh, the polls and vote, so, Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. So, uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. Thank you for Tiago for returning. It's great to have you back. Looking forward to uh, doing more tags with you and uh, you get to Draft League Season 2. So thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow uh, with uh, them Zushins. Alright, people, thanks for watching.